Hello everyone, welcome to Ijao Tech. Yes, Ijao Tech. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the CIE, um, IGCC Information and Communication Technology. Course code is 0417. And we're we'll looking at Paper 3 Website Authoring, February, March 2017. So let's move forward. Let's go to websites. Okay, um, I'm not sure if we created if we created the evidence document. Let me show that we did. Um, I, I I think we did. Um, I think yes, we did. Yes, we did. We have we created it. Okay, so let's. Yeah. Okay. This is what. Um, Evidence 20. Okay, we are with it. So let's go forward. Tax to websites, web page. We work for a hot house design and we develop web pages for the Guar Elephant Sanctuary. Most of the people who review the web page have very low, very slow internet connection. So efficient markup must be used. Create a new folder called M17 underscore his channel. So I'm just going to copy this. Um, apparently, um, for the new candidates, you have to type it exactly the way it is. Just type it exactly the way it is. Let's create the folder. So I'm going to create the folder here, right? I'm just going to right click and click on new and click on folder. And I'm going to paste this here. Folder created. Okay, we're good to go. Locate the following files and store them in your M70 HTML folder. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do this real quick just to split it the screens. If you don't know how to do that, just click here, click here, click here, then you click here. Done. Okay. All right. Um, so let's move those files. I have, I'm just going to do it as a list. So it's easier for me. So I have. M17. Okay, I have this. Um, I have this. I have this. BG1 and BG2. I have this. I have this. Um, okay, put four, five, and six, seven, and eight. I have a logo and I have the CSS. Is there anything else that I'm not done? Okay, so um, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to cut it. Okay, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to open this folder and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so we have this. Now, if you count to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, this is actually 12 items. Okay, so yeah, we're good to go. So now I can do this. And for me as well, I can do this. Okay. All right, let's go ahead. Create a web page called m17gs.htm. So now, for me to create a web page, um, there are two ways you can actually do it: be the notepad plus plus, create from scratch. But I'm going to use for the purpose of my students. I'm going to use um, the Microsoft. Um, web expression to do that. I'm going to be using four to do that. The latest version is four, and the time of this recording to do that. Okay, so I'm going to click here and search for web. Okay, so I have Microsoft Expression Web 4. I'm going to open it. Okay, so this is the interface right here. And um, okay, so I'm just going to create a just going to close this. So I'm just going to click a new one, click on file, and I'm going to click on new, I'm going to click on HTML, right, and then we have it, okay, so it's still the same thing, any of them works, so I'm just going to use the default one that is there, okay, and I'm just going to right click and click save as, I'm just going to quickly locate it, where it is. I'm just going to do a quick pause to look for it. Okay, so there we have it. So I'm just going to uh, 
I think I've copied it. Let me paste it. Copy it again. I'm going to copy this. Copy. And I'm going to take this off. Right? It's already saved as a web page. So this is going to be the name. And I'm going to save it. So we already have m17gs.html. Okay? And I'm just going to take everything off. Okay, yeah. All right. So this web page must work in all browsers and we have a table structure as shown below. Each table cell is identified with a letter and the dimensions and all dimensions are in pixels. Okay. Now I will just quickly explain this. Now in the code view we have three sections. This is the header section, this is the body uh, section. Now this is the full HTML. Now in the header this is where your title comes in um, um your external scripts comes in etc 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 okay all right now um so let's create this table as they said identify little dimension in pixel so we have um in tables we have columns and row right if you're watching my videos on data analysis you should know that right so we have these are rows these are columns okay so we have one two three four five five rows and we have one, two, three, four, four columns. Okay, so we're just going to create that. So I'm going to click on tables. I'm going to click on tables. Click on the sub tables, and we have five rows and we have four columns. Okay. Now, what are the what is the width of it? Now, remember, all dimensions are in pixels, so the width is going to be. 900 if i see 900 i see 900 yeah so it's going to be 900 so i'm just going to put the width in pixels to be 900 okay i don't need to check the height because obviously we'll be, we'll be modifying that i'm going to click on okay and then we have it created okay now so let's start uh um, Table borders, letters, and dimensions shown in the table must not appear on your final web page. Okay, we're going to handle that. So for A, I have 900 by 200. So the width is going to be 900, and the height is going to be 200. Obviously, we have the width here, so the height is just going to be 200. So we're going to work on that. So for this, and before then, this is meshed, right? This is also meshed. This is also meshed. So let's work on that, okay? So I'm going to mesh this. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on cell properties. I think I can do it here. I can also do it here as well. I'll click on modify and I'm going to click on merge cells. Okay. The second one I'm going to right highlight it, right click, click on modify, and I'll click on merge cells. The last part I'm going to highlight, right click click on modify and I'm going to click on merge cell okay so um, for C C to F they are both the same thing 255 by 255 so what I'm going to do right now since they are the same I'm going to highlight both of them all of them this third row and I'm going to click on right click I'm going to click on the cell properties Okay, and I'm going to specify the width, which is two. Is it two five five or two two five? Two two five, two two five, and I'm going to specify the height, which is what two two five, and I'm going to apply, and I'm going to click on OK. So that's done. Um, G to I seems to be the same thing. The width is two two five. Remember, it's the width first before the height, okay? 
um, width by height. Okay, so the width is two to five. The height on the other hand is hundred. So let's do that. I'm going to highlight the fourth row. Okay, right click, click on the cell properties. Right here is going to be two to five, and the height here is going to be hundred. I just want to be sure. I'm going to apply it and I'm going to click on OK. So we are done. Okay, the last part is 60. So let's do the last part. So right here, I'm going to right click, click on cell properties. The height is going to be 60. So I'm just going to work on that, apply that, and click on OK. For the other two, I've not done it. So for B, so let me do B. For B, I will have 120. So I'm going to right click on it. I click on cell properties. I'm just going to specify only the height, which is what 120. Okay. And also for the first row, I have 200. So I'm going to right click and click on cell properties. The height here is going to be 200. Okay. Now let's go to our code view. The code view gives us an idea what how the width is. Um, now column span means um, it has been meshed. Um, the span means meshed. So column meshed. Four columns have been meshed. Um, this is the height apparently 200, 120. Um, the width and height is the same. The width um, and the width are the same. The height are the same. Okay, so this is TRO means table row. TD means table data, right? Your cells, the values in the cell. Um, what else? This means tag. Uh, this is this is an open tag. An open tag. This is a closed tag. Okay. Um, what else do we need to know? Um, the height is here as well. Now this means spaces. All this means spaces. Okay. Your um, R, R, and N, B, S, P means spaces. Okay. Um, this is your closing tag for table, closing tag for body. You open the table, you close it. The width for the table is this. Okay. So that's fine. So, so that's 10 marks, guys. Place in cell A the image m17logo.jpg. Okay. So in what? In cell A and send cell A is right here. Okay. So I'm right here, I'm going to click here. Click on insert. Or you can also come here and insert your image here. Right? You can set pictures here. Or you can come here to click on insert, um, click pictures from file. Okay. Um, Just gonna save this. Let's see what it's showing. Okay. Okay. Insert. I'm just quickly going to look for it. To find. Let me see. Let me see here. I think it's here. Um. Okay. So let's look for it. Um. This is gonna be M17 logo. Okay, I'm going to insert it now. The alternative says because in the question it says that they use a slow internet connection, so obviously, there should be um, an appropriate alternative text to know what is being um, in each what is being displayed in each of the cells. Okay, 
So I'm going to use logo. Okay. So we have that. Okay. Enter in cell B the text. So that's cell B here. Okay, I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to apply. What are we applying? H1, which is header. So there are six headers. So we have it as heading one to heading six. So I'm applying the first one. Okay. Um, question four. Use the appropriate imaging from M17 IMG1 to 8. Okay. So in C, what is C? C is right here. So C, D, E, F. Okay. So we know that. Okay. Um, so C is the image of a milk being cooked. Okay. To see um, milk being cooked. See, right click. I can actually insert image. Um, okay, so let me do this from here. Um, insert picture. Meal being cooked. Okay, this is a meal being cooked. I'm going to give an alternative text. Meal being cooked. So we have it here. The next one is going to be. The image of an elephant right. So I'm just going to highlight elephant right. And I'm going to click on insert. On file. Elephant right. Yep. I'm going to paste this on the alternate, the alternate text. So alternate text means if this does not load, that's what it's going to show. Okay. Um, the image of a jungle. So I'm going to copy jungle. Copy jungle. Click on insert. Jungle, jungle. I think this is a jungle. This looks like a jungle. I think that's the late thing that fits. Remember they said using the appropriate image from 1 to 8 place in cell. F is image of an envelope. So I'm just going to copy this. Okay. Look, what am I doing? Insert. Page. Envelope, okay. Envelope. Type in here envelope, okay. All right. Make sure appropriate text is displayed if any image is not available. In cell G, so let's look for. So this is G H I J, okay. Enter the text local cooking okay obviously yours is not going to be electronic so you have to type it in i'm going to paste it here local cooking what are we applying h2 to it so i'm going to apply h2 to it enter the text elephant rights copy And I'm going to apply the H2 to it. Okay. Enter the text remote jungle location. So I. I'm going to paste this. And I'm going to apply it. Text contact us. Copy. I'm going to apply H2 to it. Okay. In K, so let's look at K. What's K? Okay, that's the last row. 
in cell K, place in cell K the text page created for house design by followed by your name, serial number, candidate number. Okay, a gyro, ND, comma, AN 017, comma, 2023. And I'm, I'm applying H3 to it. Please enable you click on the cell to apply it, okay? Very important. Center align the table in the browser. Now, before we do this, let's check what has been done on our codes. A lot has been done on our codes. So let's look at it, what has been done. So we have been able to add the image, the logo here in the first row. And now you can see that this is the alternate image. And of course, this is SRC means source. Okay, it means the source of where you're getting your image. Now, if you don't save it, if you don't save this file in the folder, it's not going to show this. It's rather going to show the URL of where you're getting it from. Okay. And in the second, now wherever I click, if you go back, you see that that's where the, uh, the cursor is. Okay. Now, um, in the second row, we put in this. Now, this is the tag for heading. So we have heading one, and this is the clothing tag for it. Okay. Um, for the third row, we put in a lot of pictures, right? And this is the image tag for pictures. So image, the alternate um, image, the height of the image, and of course, the width of the image. Remember, um, this is the width for it, and this is the width of the image as well. These are the source. And for the fourth column, the fourth row rather, we looked at the second headings for the local cooking as much as possible. And uh, finally, we looked at this as well, uh, your, your TD, which is your table data, um, to enter in this particular um, text. Okay, you can try to split to see what you're doing here and what you're doing there. Okay, all right. Center align the table. Now, there are two ways to center align the table. I'm just going to show you real quick. Now, you could um, select the table and then you click on center align to do this. Okay, now if you do this, if you come to the code. You are going to see that the table have been what centered the line okay but what they most time most time what they are looking for is this and i'm going to show you so let me undo this and let me go to the code and we're going to do some just add some few codes nothing really special so what we're going to do here is now this is the style so what we are going to do right here is i'm going to press for each of the coding right you press um a semicolon okay and then you type the width sorry match it okay the margin left you're going to put auto okay semicolon the margin right okay you're going to pick auto and don't forget to close this now if you save this you will discover that this is automatically what center line okay so there are two ways to go about it you're still going to get your mark okay there's still two ways to go about that okay all right create a hyperlink from the image of the envelope to send an email message to this now we want to create an hyperlink so let's create the hyperlink now on which image from the image of the envelope okay so i create a hyperlink of the image of the envelope what i'm going to do i'm going to click on it right click and click on hyperlink let me do it again right click go down and click on hyperlinks now i'm going to click on email address and now the email address is going to be what Going to copy this let me just copy this to this copy
Okay, so I'm just going to type GES. Okay, add CIE dot org dot UK. Okay, mail to GES at CIE at org dot UK. And this is going to be book me a visit. It's going to be the subject and I'm going to click on OK. Now if we should click on file, let's save the word, click on file and let's preview this in my Chrome browser, you will see that I have this. So if I click on this, it takes me to whichever account I want to email it to, okay? Let me use uh, this account and then we have it, okay? So we have... Um, book me a visit okay it works that way okay all right so let's go ahead attach the style sheet m17 ss or css to the web page okay so let's attach it now there are two ways you can actually attach it here but should you ever get you don't see it you come to panels and you click to you click on manage styles okay so whichever one works okay um very very important i think i can just do this um so i have it here okay so i'm going to click on atta style sheet browse for it and i'm going to because we have saved this web page on that folder it's going to find the content for it okay i'll click on open and i'm going to click on okay now you see that everything has changed i can save the web page if i come here to my browser and i reload on it it has it has changed okay see that it has changed but not to worry let's go ahead the star sheet has been created but needs to be improved using the most efficient syntax make sure your star sheet contains no HTML. okay Open and examine the files, and so let's open it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click on file, click on open, and we're going to open the CSS. Okay, so let's open it. So we have it here. Okay, good. Add the following to the style sheet. Let's add the following. So I'm going to, I'm going to have, I'm going to create a new style for this. I'm going to click on new style. Okay. And this is going to be H1, comma, H2, comma, H3. Okay. Now, they said it should display this copy. If it's not available, then can Pandara, I've seen it before. If neither of these fonts are available, the browser default is Sans Serif font. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to Font Family and look for the one that has Sans Serif. We have one. Oh, I need to read, so it's Serif. So Sans Serif. I'm just going to do this. I like paste. Come again, copy this. Obviously, in the exam, you're not going to be doing copy. So practice with typing, okay? Practice with typing. Okay, so let's apply it. And then, uh, what else? Okay, so okay. Now set the file as the background image. So the background, we don't have a BGA background image here. This is the body we have and the color for the body, so it's not part of it. So let's add a new style. And we can call this 
background image okay so I'm going to click on background right here or I can call it a BG image right just gonna call it BG image so background BG image you can type background but, but I think BG image I think they get it you know what let me just type background <laughs> okay <laughs> um, so I'm gonna browse so what is the background is M17 BG1 okay all right at the set this image so that it is tied repeated so background is going to be repeated and override the browser default setting so I'm going to apply it and I'm going to click on OK now add your name center number candidate number as a comment to the bottom of your sheet okay so I'm going to add a comment now to add a comment we're going to do this so we're going to do a slash and then an asterisk and then we're going to add our name a child ND comma AN 017 comma 2023 and then we close it with this and then we add our asterisk okay save this tie sheet in your M17 folder Okay, so click on file, click on save. Take a screenshot showing the content of your style sheet and place this in your evidence document. I'm going to go a screenshot, take my snipping tool. This is important that the headings are also showing okay this is going to be evidence one okay important that showing is clear all right a website is tested before it is uploaded to the internet so let's check our work let's refresh Oh, obviously, I think I know what, why it's not working. So, obviously, I have to save this as well. So, I'm going to click on File and click on Save. Okay. Okay, let me see the code. Okay, let me go back to see the question. I don't want this to be untitled, so this is going to be a um, hot house design. Okay. I'm going to copy this, copy, paste this here. Oh, I think I see why it's not working. So I'm going to save. to the current page is showing I'm just going to delete this one
Yeah, I'm going to attach it to show now. So let me save this here. Save and go back to design. So it's not actually seen it. Um, I'm going to I'm going to put it here. So it's not actually seen it. I'm going to put M seventeen SS dot CSS. Let me just pause to see what went what, wrong. Okay, guys, so I've been able to come around and come around and come around to see what I did wrong, and nothing seemed to be working until I discovered that it might just be just background image. So, what I'm gonna do, um, I, I had to go back to the question again to see what went wrong. And these are the issues most times students have, they don't even know what to do. And it's important that we try to solve those issues. They said, set this um, the file as the background image. Now, if it's going to be a background image, it needs to be in the body, right? So obviously, we don't have to create a style for it. So I think I think that was just what went wrong um, in it. So um, I'm just going to open the style again and see this time. Um, so let me just open it, okay? And probably I'm just going to take this off. Okay, I'm just going to delete this style. Right? I'm just going to delete it. Yes, I'm going to take it off. Right? And right here on body, I'm going to right click and I'm going to modify the style. Okay, so obviously here is the font colors. Now I'm going to click on background and I'm going to add the picture. Okay? And I'm going to make it repeat. I'm going to apply it and I'm going to OK. Um, yes, I'm going to save it. So obviously we'll have to take another screenshot again. And I'm going, OK. So there we have it, it's working because I was worried to see what happened, right? And that's why it's important for H3. Um, OK, so our default is going to be where it is. Because I don't think anything was. Okay, so now it's working. So I'm just, I'll have to take another screenshot again. Again, I was worried. What happened? I'm just going to take this. Um, yes. And I'm going to replace this because. Okay. So I'm just going to drag it. Okay, I'm going to save it. Okay, so that's problem solved. Phew. A website is tested before it is uploaded to the internet. Yeah, hyperlinks will be tested as part of the test strategy. List four questions in your own words that could be used within the test plan to test these hyperlinks. Now I've put them in the, in, in my evidence document, so let's talk about it, right? And this is going to be evidence too. Yeah, so let's talk about it quickly. So um, the first one is the first one is going to be is is hyperlink from corrected test. The hyperlink will uh, the hyperlink will create it. We saw what we did in we saw what we did right here. Let me just refresh. Yes, we saw what we did right here. Um, um, clicking on this and how it went to the other side and um, went to my mail extension and was able to, you know, um, put the where it's mailing it to and of course the subject. Okay, so is it is it um, is it um, from the correct text or the, from the correct image? 
and do hyperlinks um, do do hyperlinks to anchor within the page works. Now this simply means that if are you doing hyperlinks within the page that is going to work. And I think we've seen samples where we had to click on this, um, go to hyperlinks, and probably we'll go to existing web page right here to link it within the web page. Does it actually work? Okay. Um, the next one is do I link to other page in this site work? That's to external page, to external websites, or to other pages. Does it work? Um, um, to anchor within the page simply means, uh, let me go back, means uh, you're linking something within this page. Okay. Maybe home will take you to the, to the, or to the home there. Bottom will take you to the bottom and to other pages as well. Does it also work? work okay and another one is to hyperlinks to emails open the editor software yes it did so but we have to test it will you open it is it going to open it or not do hyperlinks to email have the correct email address and subject line okay and we saw what happened and we did that and it worked okay do all extend external hyperlinks to existing url work and our planned url own available for purchase okay so these are the things that we have to look at okay for a format with four point okay display the web page in your browser if necessary resize so that all the page can be seen all text can be easily read the address bar is visible take a single screenshot of the browser window and place this in your evidence document so i'm going to go to my browser right here and I'm just going to reduce it a bit so that everything is going to show. Um, yep, I think I have it here. I think I have it here. So, um, if you they want to see the URL, URL of the page. So, obviously, this is not going to be an issue for your external exam because um, in your external exam, you're going to be putting it in the desktop and then they can be able to see everything. But I have a very, very long folder and it's, yeah, so long. Okay. So I'm going to take the screenshot right now, and um, okay. So I'm going to take the screenshot from here um, to here. Okay. Probably I'm just going to take everything, and I'm going to just. Um, I think here is better. Just um, here is better. Okay. So I have this um, obviously because of the URL. And I'm going to paste this in evidence three. Okay, so let me paste this in evidence three real quick. Okay. All right. Take a copy of your HTML source and place this in your evidence document. When I mean take a copy, it means copy and paste. Obviously, the reason why they say take a copy is because if you go to your code, it is so long that you have to be taking so many screenshots. So it's better to just do this, Ctrl plus A, to select everything, right click and copy. And this is going to be in evidence uh, 4. And we're just going to right click and we're just going to paste it like this. Okay, we can do this and probably make it a 10. Okay. Open the style sheet M17 SS or CSS. Replace the background image with the image. So I place it with either of one, replace it with M17 BG2. Okay, so let's place it. Um, it's open already. Now, Okay, so if I do this, come in, 
since it's the same thing, I don't have to do it again, right? So if I do this and I put two, I want to see if it's work. Okay, click on file, click on save, go back to my design view. What do you have it? It works, <laughs> okay? It works, okay? So in brevity, that was just a little bit of cheat code because obviously it's just the same or identical and we just have to do that. Or you could just come back again right here, um, modify the style and on your background, you can actually um, browse it and put this again, okay? So whichever one, and then you apply it and good to go, okay? So um, yes, just little modifications. Or what you could do is, if you're telling you to change, you could just type it the way it is and see the result yourself. Okay, so let's save this star sheet in your seven, uh, M17 underscore HMO folder. Okay, so I'm going to, it's saved already. And if I come here and right click, it actually saved. Whoa! It's not looking very attractive. Um, wonder why. Um, refresh the web page your browser if necessary. Uh, if necessary, uh, resize it so that all page can be seen, all text can be easily read. The page they are just by visible. Take a single screenshot of your browser window and place this in your evidence document. So let's do that. So I'm going to now everything is showing. So let me screenshot. Okay. And I'm going to place this where um, evidence five. Now, in this video, we're also going to be printing the evidence document, so please stick around to the end and let's see how that is done. But he following still a Okay, I think it's clear here. Okay. Yep, I think it's clear. You know what, let's bring it here, you know, I feel like that is, bring it here and we can decide to increase it as much as we want. It's still going to be four pages, so let's not, let's not, uh, okay, alright, okay. Evaluate your own words, the change of the background image, finally. Type evaluation in the evidence document using no more than 100 words. Okay, um, the image seems kind of, it's really a ton of, right? So let's look at the things that, well, first of all, the background gives clear contrast to text. That is, does not have a clear contrast. It's not clear, right? Because the, the background is making the text difficult to read, okay? The structure of the web page is clear with the first background. Okay, and now the side said, everything you want the change of the background image. Obviously, the first background was better, but the second one, this was actually better, but the second one, it's not so much. Okay, um, second background image is also suitable as it shifts from light to dark and is tiled. Second background um, image relates. To the context of the business artist includes an image of the elephant yes for the second background it talks about elephants and yes it actually relates to it but it does not look like a professional company site okay logo has a poor contrast between the background and the color of the logo so obviously they did, there is uh, you know um foul between the background and of course 
the logo okay and um, yes with that we've come to the end of this so we're going to save our evidence documents and we're going to print it right away so i'm going to click on print we're just going to see how it looks like okay um everything looks good you know what um because of this I'm, i think i can just make this 11 so it can be very clear okay so um, i think i can even make it 12 so it can be clear enough all right i think that's good print so yes it's very clear and they can see it very well okay uh this is going to be moving evidence documents this is uh going to be print out trying to see what we have here as a printout okay so i think i'm just i'll just go ahead and just print save and uh, let me come here to see what yeah okay right here so save and print your evidence document it's going to be print out four copy print out four um what am i doing okay let me look for it um quickly look for it 2017 um yeah i'm gonna put it here right here so print out four okay so we have it here so it's important to always check your printout very very important to always check uh, your printout so let me check it printer 4 it's looking good um yes everything is clear and see it um yeah it's looking good and uh, yes we have come to the end of um this total paper of people three we've done the um we've done the uh, data analysis in the previous video and now we have completed this paper so thank you for watching please don't just watch always practice with the videos practice because it's always you know when you practice you get perfect and of course and perfect practice gives you an astounding result so please practice and do want to like this video share it to a friend and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel it's loaded with so many information trust me you can um afford to miss the content in this video subscribe and enjoy the contents of this video and with that we've come to the end see you in the next video bye